What's good people, I am Jay Diggs here with Mixwave and in this video I'm going to teach you how to separately route contact instruments in Studio One. Let's go! Alright guys, here we are in Studio One. The first thing we're going to do is go ahead and open up our contact instrument. If you're brand new to Studio One, you can come down here, hit the browse button, hit instruments, and it'll bring up a list of all of your instrument plugins. Go ahead down to Native Instruments and pull in Contact. All right, here we are in the Contact window. Now, what we want to do is set up our Output section. If you do not see your Output section, go up to this button right here and make sure Outputs is checked. Now, what we're going to do is create channels that will correlate to our instruments. Now, if you have multiple Contact instruments, you can make an output for each instrument. In this case, we're actually going to make outputs for one instrument, but it's going to be for a drum kit. So we're using Mixwave's Thomas Prison Drums. So I'm going to show you how to separately route each part of the drum, which is really powerful. First thing we're going to do is hit this plus button, and you want to decide how many channels you want to create. In this case, I'm doing a drum kit. I want to make eight channels. We're going to go ahead and do stereo. We've experimented with trying to output mono channels with contact. It's very tedious. To save yourself the headache, just go ahead and make stereo channels. I'm going to make eight of them and I'm going to leave the number of channels on two for stereo. Under host output, we want to click this. We want to go ahead and hit that first channel. It might have a different name here, but just make sure you hit the first one, okay? And we want to make sure we have a sending output assignment check. That's going to go ahead and allow all of our channels to create themselves in sequence. Now very important that you have this selected right here. Delete existing channels before creating new ones. That's going to get rid of whatever existing channels you have down here. The aux channels will always be there but whatever existing channels like stereo channels or surround channels it'll go ahead and get rid of those. And as you can see here it's gone ahead and made eight stereo channels exactly how I wanted it to. The next step is to name these. So what I'm going to do in my case I'm going to name this first one kit. That's going to be my overall kit sound, overheads, room mics, whatever I want to be in the main stereo field. And then I'm going to create one for my kick, make one for my snare, hi-hat, so forth. I won't go ahead and name all of these. You can name all of them according to whatever you're doing. So now what we want to do is go ahead and save this as a preset. In my case, I'll just name it drum kit. Now, very important, the next thing you want to do is to save this as your default setting. We're going to relaunch Contact. That will allow Studio One to go ahead and read our output settings. So I'm going to hit Save Current Output Section State as Default. We're going to hit All Formats just to make that simple. Now go ahead and close Contact and relaunch it. And just in case you're brand new to Studio One, in order to completely get rid of this instrument, you want to go ahead and right click the track, hit remove track and instrument to make sure it closes the instrument. So we're going to go ahead and pull contact back in to reopen it. And boom, here we are. So everything is as it was and we have our default settings. Now go ahead and launch your instrument or series of instruments and we're going to go ahead and start routing the instruments through our outputs. This next part is really important. In Studio One, you can automatically create auxiliary outputs for your multi-out instruments. So I'm going to show you what I mean. Okay, so if you open up your mixer view in Studio One, you see you have your contact channel right here. Now we can create auxiliary channels next to this main channel that will allow our separate output routes to flow audio through. However, you have to activate it. The easiest way I've found to do this, there's multiple ways, is to open up contact. And this button right here, you want to click that and you wanna go ahead and check all of the channels that you have that you want to route. So we have our kick, snare, hat, and our other stereo channels that we made. Boom. And now when I go back to my mixer view, you'll see that they've popped up right here. Now, we can go ahead and route our drums now. So I'll go ahead to our drum mixer. We'll go ahead and route these. So I'm gonna route the, the kick to kick, snare to snare, I'll jump over to my hi-hat and route my hi-hat through my hat channel. And as you can see down here in our output view, you can see that they're flowing through those outputs 
And if we jump over to our mixer, boom. Everything is now on its own auxiliary output. And from here you can add plugins, you can add compressors, EQ separately to each piece of the drum or each instrument that you're using within contact. Now that we've done that, I actually want to give you a quick tip real quick. Let me show you. So you'll notice that here, I've made this little pattern here, but everything is on one MIDI track. And even though we have everything routed, we have everything routed through its own channel, but what if I want to make an audio track? Or what if I want to bounce this down to audio and send stems to someone? I can't do that from just this one MIDI track. So Studio One has this cool feature where you can right click this MIDI region. You want to go to instrument parts and you want to go to explode pitches to tracks. Boom. Now with this, everything is on its own track now. Now if you want audio tracks, all you have to do is right click each region and you hit bounce selection. There's my hat. There's my kick. And then there's my snare. All right, guys, that was just a quick tutorial on how to separate your contact instruments in Studio One. If this helped you out, leave a thumbs up. And if you have questions, leave a comment down below. We'll be sure to help you out. And until next time, I'm Jay. Peace.